Kansas federal court ruled last week in the case of ex scotch MP George Galloway, whom the Harper government banned from entering Canada a year and a half ago for supposedly supporting a terrorist organization. While the appeal itself on Galloway's behalf was thrown out because Galloway supposedly never challenged the ban himself, the ruling also made it abundantly clear that the government was out of line and banned him solely for political reasons, namely criticizing Israel. Almost immediately, Galloway was announced to be coming to Canada for a speaking engagement last weekend. I suspect a future episode will deal with the aftermath of this. Honestly, I'd love to see Emperor Harper's cronies try to pull something this time. The whole reason that the terrorist organization bullshit didn't work was because all that Galloway did was donate food, medicine, and diapers to the Palestinian people, albeit through Hamas. Frankly, even if Hamas was inclined to hold on to those goods, they'd be pretty hard-pressed to find ways to conduct terrorism with them. Then again, this is using logic on Zionist sociopaths who think that trying to bring wheelchairs to Gaza warrants storming a passenger ship in international waters and shooting civilians armed with sticks, at best. Besides, if Galloway's actions really did count as supporting terrorism, he definitely would have been arrested by now, and he never has been. Even Bush and Cheney never touched the guy. I realize that logic is something that today's conservatives have a very hard time with, but that simple act of reasoning tells me pretty clearly that HarperCons are talking out of their asses. Furthermore, I find it very rich that the same people demanding that Galloway be silenced, um, I mean kept out of our country, rolled out the carpet for Ann Coulter, who not only made what can be called direct threats against Canada, but is a genuine anti semite and terrorist sympathizer. Look up her remarks on Timothy McVeigh if you think I pulled that one out of my ass. Galloway's critics keep playing the Jew hater and terrorist card, so let's see them get serious. It's for reasons like this that any claim the right wing has to be the true heroes of free speech goes up in smoke pathetically easily. Never mind that these are the same guys trying to make protesting the government a crime on the same level as terrorism, who have tried to bankrupt our artists for making movies about gay people in a positive light, who have stooped to playing evidence in order to sue their critics, and annually close down Parliament when the opposition actually opposes the government, and this is just in Canada, by the way. If today's conservatives are really as big on freedom and non-intrusive government as they say they are, then why don't they back the fuck off already? That's it for me.